All right, so I have seen Gladiator 2, and this is the sequel to the first movie that came out more than 20 years ago. It has a Ridley Scott returning back to the table uh, to unfold his ways of filmmaking for a, a sequel like this. And I gotta say, I, I, I am impressed of what they have done here. I was enter entertained. Especially with, with, with the action sequences, the arena, a Colosseum, especially with uh, Paul Mescal, uh, Pedro Pascal, and Denzel Washington, and I think that there's a lot to dive into, and so this will be my full and not spoiler review for the movie, and I'll also go, go over the, the flaws that, that this movie had that I could have prevented this from being great, or if it's not as good as the first, but that's what I'll dive into right here, right right now. And so if you're new, new then be sure to, to, to subscribe and hit that notification bell so we saw any future videos. Bits, but now let, let's get to it. And now, distinctly speaking, going into this film, especially with Gladiator, that was a film that came out more than 20 years ago, and it's from Ridley Scott. It's one of Russell Crowe's best performances, and that movie still holds up to this day. And especially with the sequel, Gladiator 2, and I, I don't know if that that like hold it, it up. I mean, if I had no idea if it was gonna, gonna be good as the first, like acting like a follow up, and it turns out I think it does. But I, I, I was entertained by a, from what I witnessed. But there are still like a, a few flaws to be had. Like it, it turns out like a, there's a, a, also a great action that that goes down in terms of the storytelling of what our character uh, Lucius is up against, especially when his home it is attacked by a uh, to claim his home and, and like an emperor of Rome and with uh, Lucius that, that that now has to like, claim the peace and freedom of his home and what we're about his empire that is at stake and and also I just really, really, really like the uh, direction that it goes forward and he, he, well Ridley's ideas of what he had with, with the sequel but I think like especially as he had like a, so, so much you know control over this but I from like the entire point of the movie, I I, I like I still think they could, could have like cut out some parts, but I I mean I think it, it was not like like the best movie of the year, but and trust me, this was on my most anticipated list for the rest of the year, but I just think it could have been better because I mean to me I think it was good. I, I thought it, it like it, it like freaking world. But I just think that it could have been better, or in terms of the pacing, and in terms of what we're getting into with uh, the storyline of for how it progresses, especially within like the opening minutes of, of the movie. There's like a, a, an amazing opening, like a battle sequence that goes down, and like it gets pretty crazy from here. But in terms of, of, of like uh, the uh, direction that it wants to move full forward to like in terms of, of that in terms of the uh, second half way through the movie i just thought it, it was sort of like a bore but it, it was definitely a good to know of, of where like this story is coming from and if lucius is gonna win this thing and plus i just definitely like a paul mescal as like a Lucius of what he carries in, in, in the role, and I, I I don't know if he could have if he topped a Russell Crowe's performance from the first movie, but with his character, he really uh, d delivered with his rebellious ways, and there's like like so many great performances throughout the entire movie. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure the, the, the like Oscar worthy, and and you have Pedro Pascal uh, that that plays it this evil general that like claims his empire and, and tried to uh, t take over the land and I mean me, like my, my, me, like his, his performance uh, uh, the best one that I've seen on screen but most importantly with Denzel Washington like an Oscar winning actor he, he, he puts on like the best performance I've ever seen he's the ultimate beast and a scene stealer that's what I really enjoyed like from his character it's just like watching Lucius uh, for what he, he has lost and talking about his history. I think like I really enjoyed the, the action sequences that goes down it, in, in terms of the of the sword fights in the arena, and I, because I, I think like oh man, especially with the kills that go down. Trust me, um, there's like so much gore 
and, and then I think what the first movie had. But I mean, of course, uh, this is a, a, a gladiator movie. I, I think like there is a uh, blood and gore, but I think it, it really steps up in terms of with the set pieces. And I just thought it it was better for the way that they set this film up to be. And also, while I did enjoy the large scale in filmmaking that this sequel was set out to be, but there were a few things that were a l lacking here, and that is. I, I think like the uh, uh, story points that I have laid out, I think it, it might have had so much potential to be great, but it, m it missed out on some things like in, in terms of what like uh, the original was. And, and trust me, I did like the, the original, but, it, but I think like some elements it did not hold up the, the same as the first movie did. But I, I think that th this movie went way f further from what it, it needed to be. But, but I think it, it delivered some good action and it delivered good storytelling. While it also de de delivered a good finale in the third act. But I, I just uh, de definitely think that, that, that like, it might not be for ev everyone. But I, I think like people m might be surprised for their input, especially if you like the first glider, I mean, uh, good for you. But like, I mean, and, and in terms of if, if you enjoyed it, like, because I, I for sure did. But, uh, but I just uh, definitely think uh, the first movie is perfect the, the, the way it is. But it, it and, and and the way for this sequel and it's set up. But I, I think like it, it like lacks lacks a sort of like the. Uh, risk taking for this movie but I just think like oh, Ridley Scott is like a great filmmaker but I I think like he, he made a, a great a final product out of this movie and I, I think like a, they're like a great stuff uh, to go around in terms of the uh, performances like uh, uh, the antagonists and uh, what this film's direction is going to have because I, I think like a, there's going to be a third gladiator movie after this but I hope, hope it does but I just think like it, it was done like a, the, the best movie of all time, the best movie of, of the year. But I, I I think I was entertained, especially I mean I mean are, are you not entertained like of the line spoken by Russell Crowe in the first first movie? I just think that like the the stuff uh, could have been better. I, I think like uh, some story points could have been better. But I mean I, I've heard like uh, things were cut out from the, from the movie. But I I just seen the like uh, the, the film lacks uh, some of the, of the time, and now from what I did like about the sequel is that like it it, it expands upon like uh, the the world of Rome as we know it, especially with Joseph Quinn who who, who plays like an emperor and get uh with his cruelty and he he's like a peeled peel up like a wellness like hate like towards his emperor brothers. And that man is definitely getting an Oscar nomination. Denzel Washington's character who I, I enjoyed the most and but plus like, I think like he's like a very powerful man and that like, like has like, a, a motive towards a Lucius. It, it expands upon like a, a, the, the world of Rome as we know it. it, it it's filled with, with, with a ton, ton of stuff that we never seen before. I think it, it, it is a much more a built upon even, even further than we know. But I mean, I, I just uh, do definitely love the arena sequences that go down, especially with the action and and uh, so some of the stuff that Lu Lucius is put through in terms of the challenges that he is facing. Even though it was a bit messy in, in, in between uh, the, the raw parts, but I distinctly thought it, it was a good movie. It definitely took things to, to like a, a grander, great scheme of taking things to uh, the next level, which it for sure does. But I like like for like uh, the uh, crazy stuff that go, go goes down, as especially for uh, new ideas of uh, being brought up of how they wanted to top this. But I d d just think that like, it, it d d that doesn't do much. But I th I think it really takes it up a notch. It might have been better, but trust me, I had a great time with this movie. I, I thought everything was great. I love the score the storytelling. I just like everything all around and I, I think like there are definitely Oscar nominations coming and I, I think people should, should definitely go out to see this movie. I think it was a really great movie 
but I, I think like it, it lacked potential, but still, it was a great time. So I, I enjoyed Gladiator 2. I like what Ridley Scott did with this movie, and I, I hope they make an, another one, and I, I think like there are good, good stuff to go around. So, uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Just let me know in the comments below, and uh, if you saw Gladiator 2, let, let me know what, what you thought about it in the comments below, and or if you're seeing it. Just l let me know. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos. And also follow all my social medias over the link down below. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.